Hello all, it's Terhi Koskinen here and I'm super happy to play with January 2018 Hip Kids for the first time. Um, I'm focusing on the watercolor stickers from American Crafts, Vicky Putin line, uh, all the good things line. Um, I haven't been using any watercolor stickers before and I'm quite happy to use them for the first time as these are looking gorgeous, I think. Um, in the January color kit we had some oxide inks, this pink one and orange, orange one. And as the oxide inks are water soluble, <laughs> how to say that, they are waterproof. No, they are made from water. They can be used with water. Whoa, I found the word. Anyway, um, I'm using that for coloring and also some traditional watercolors. The watercolors I'm using are new release from Altenu, so I'm really happy to mix the inks and watercolors. I'm adding many many small layers of the colors because I want to make sure everything blends smoothly and as this is uh, these are watercolor stickers I don't need to worry about making any anything for the background first I just can start coloring no need for gessos or anything like that um, there are lots of different ways to color them of course even though these are watercolor stickers you can grab your markers or any other colors like paints or something and color with them but I want to play with my watercolor brush which is also a new one it's from the wiki pudding line also <laughs> and uh, I really like it because it has this really thin brush and you can go really really detailed pictures with this so uh, what I don't like is that of course I can understand why but I don't like that there is a little white space um, next to the sorry about that noise next to the sticker um, with all the edges so I decided that I will cut all these stickers with scissors even though they are ready, ready to be used. So of course you can play however you want, but I don't want to have that little white line. And that's why I can go all over the edges like this, like super artist-like, <laughs> just adding the colors really wet. And this will make a different kind of look than the detailed look that I made for the first flower and the butterfly. Um, I just added lots of water first and then I'm starting to add the colors. Um, the colors will spread a bit which is fun because now I can um, actually um, mix the colors and like here when I first added the red and now I'm adding the yellow. I will have lots of different kinds of shades of both of the orange and yellow of course but also some orange and well I like to use it this way and if I would be really really careful with my coloring I would receive lots of more details or then I could just grab a marker after this is dry and use it also but I'm happy this way because these are not going to be the main focus point on my layout, the photograph is going to be, of course, uh, but these are going to be my embellishments. So I don't mind if there's something funny about them or not necessarily like super super um, tight and strict coloring. But anyway, you can do whatever you want, but I really like mixing the oxide inks and the watercolors together. Um, the oxide inks are much more uh, vibrant, opaque. Mm, maybe the opaque is the right word. Anyway, than the watercolors, so they are a little more. Um, they're a bit hiding the 
black lines so probably that's something that I need to do is to use some kind of black marker or pencil or something to um, repeat all the black areas to make them really black but now they can be gray too so I'm using my super cute scissors which I received um, from my husband as a Christmas gift gift mm, probably he didn't like me yelling all the time I don't like my scissors these are so dumb so he bought these gorgeous golden scissors for me thank you anyway um, I'm cutting all the flowers I'm going to use and the title and everything some leaves and lots of things I also grabbed one of the exclusive cut files from HipKit Club website. Um, it was January 2018 cut files um, for this layout and I cut them with my silhouette. As I'm using Wikipoodin line I also <laughs> choose uh, Wikipoodin paper from the paper kit for this. It was the gorgeous green one which you will see in just about a minute. Um, and I got some leaves from there too. Um, of course, you can <laughs> use your scissors and cut them like that, but I wanted to use those cut files. The HipKit Club exclusive cut files are always available for all HipKit Club members, so if you ever had opportunity to order one kit or more you are you you have an access for the hipkit club website to log in and then download all the cut files so there was my leaves and now i have lots of scraps which i just <laughs> cut but anyway these papers are all from january kits the green one is from biggie pudding line and this pink and purple is from um, crepe paper, good vibes, and I think it's lovely. In the photograph is my younger daughter uh, playing with some pens and drawing or writing something during her birthday party. That's right, she can be like that during uh, her party. She can just sit at a living room carpet and start drawing or anything she's like her mother she can focus on <laughs> several things at the same moment so um i want to play more with the oxide inks i have my mist ready to go but i chose to use the oxide ink with the um, plastic back packaging <laughs> smudging Technique. I don't know which is the right name for this, but as you see, I have some packaging on my hand and I'm, and I'm adding the color straight from the jar. And I'm thinking about should I add a couple drops of water because this ink is not blending enough, so I added a couple of drops of um, water and now the ink is going way better than the background. I love the way that turquoise is there because it's just a little color of turquoise, not that much but something and then the pink one is is there popping up more. Uh, this is watercolor paper I'm using as a background so again I don't have to prepare it with any gessos or anything like that. I can just start, start playing of course, if I would play a lot more, like um, even more wet medias or several, several layers, I would add a little bit of some kind of gesso or something, because even though the watercolor paper is good and perfect quality, I'm not sure if they can handle like 17 layers of water. So. Once I have the background dry, 
I decided that I'm going to use something more from Wiki Putin line. I know I'm repeating Wiki Putin, Wiki Putin, Wiki Putin here like a thousand times, but I don't care. I really like this roller stamp. It was in Project Life Kit from January. Um, it has, I think, 12 or 10 or something like that different uh, patterns or texts or something. Uh, but I decided to go with these five dots or circles and just to add something black for the background. And of course I chose to use archival ink, which is waterproof, because I really didn't want to mess up all my gorgeous background work by using different kind of ink. So I made a little cluster, paper cluster, from the papers I had here before. And now I'm just adding these on top of the background. And of course some thread between the layers and then the photograph. Um, I might be repeating myself from the last video I made, but um, if there's someone new watching my videos, I want to tell them that I'm always using some kind of 3D foam or cardstock or something like that, giving some air and dimension be between the photograph and the papers, because some dimension is always good. Now I'm um, adding all these leaves I got with Silhouette. As you see, there are some holes inside them, so it would be a little tricky to cut them by hand, but of course possible, I think. Uh, I have four of these gorgeous flowers. These are the watercolor stickers, but I think four would look bad, so I decided to cut one half and then just add them between the layers that it looks like there's even more. I got a uh, cut couple of these butterflies, but I think the blue with the yellow uh, details will work better on this layout. And at this point I'm thinking how to set this title, because I don't want it to be too horizontal the whole layout. So I decided that okay, I'm going to add some more of the 3D foam behind the sticker and add it below the photograph. So it kind of continues the pink uh, flowers and the pinkish heart and the big background. Um, and then I'm going to use these even smaller flowers from the same watercolor stickers um, to decorate the page. Um, I usually use some kind of enamel dots or diamonds or something, which I will use probably for this layer too. But these small flowers are so cute that they make gorgeous um, little details for the page. Um, I just decided to add some more blue mist and some yellow because almost everything blue was covered with the leaves or the photograph. And I really wanted to have a little shades of blue for the layout too. Just because there was some some blue uh, in the butterfly I used. And to balance the green, uh, which you can see the green is all over uh, the lower part of the page with the leaves. So I decided to add something more. Um, to the other side, to the upside of the paper, upper side. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm doing another stamping layer and then dropping some mists and enamel dots and then I'm going to be happy with this layout. It's a bit messy and there's lots of going on, but as you saw, the process was easy and Fun, especially fun. I like to play with the stickers. It was so cool. So I hope you are inspired and hope you liked it. I mean, I liked it, so hope you too. Thank you for watching and bye!